Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Flavorful Summer of Steam. Today we'll be learning the science behind kimchi and also how to make it. Let's start off by looking at the materials and ingredients that you'll need. For materials, you'll need a knife and a cutting board, a large bowl, and a colander. Moving on to ingredients, you'll need Napa cabbage and scallions, as well as sugar, salt, soy sauce, Korean red pepper, grated ginger, garlic, and large jars. Check the description below for a detailed list of all the materials and steps for this experiment. Now let's move on to making the kimchi. And just a note, you'll need an adult's help with this experiment slash recipe. Start by cutting the cabbage, first lengthwise, and then cut off the core. And then cut it up into bite-sized pieces. Next up, it's time to salt the cabbage, so massage in a couple spoonfuls of salt. You might want to wear gloves for the rest of this recipe. The next step is to cover the cabbage with water. And then you're going to weigh it down with a plate for 10 minutes. Next up, rinse and drain the cabbage three times using cold water. Now we're going to move on to making the spice paste. Start by adding ginger, followed by garlic, then soy sauce or fish sauce or water, whatever you have and then a couple spoonfuls of sugar. Finally, add a little bit of salt before adding the main ingredient, the Korean red pepper. Now you're gonna mix to combine it all up. The next step involves combining the cabbage and the paste. So first add cabbage to the bowl you used for salting, then add scallions and the paste. massage evenly to coat the cabbage. Next up, we're going to pack the kimchi into the jars. Try to leave at least one inch at the top. Then you're ready to seal up the jars. Step seven is where the magic happens. So place the kimchi on a plate in the fridge for one to five days. You may notice some bubbles because this is when fermentation happens. The final step is where all your hard work and patience comes together. You can enjoy your kimchi on whatever you'd like. Kimchi is well known for its sour taste, but how does this work? The answer lies in fermentation. Fermentation is a metabolic process which means that it is a process that uses sugar. This is one of the reasons that so much sugar is added to kimchi. Another important note is that fermentation occurs without oxygen, meaning that in the sealed jars of the container, we're promoting this fermentation-like metabolic process. Who does the fermentation, you might ask? The answer is a lactic acid bacteria. This bacteria takes sugar and converts it into both energy and lactic acid, as its name suggests. This lactic acid is used for two things. First, it kills any bad bacteria or harmful bacteria that might try and grow within the kimchi. It is the acidic nature of the lactic acid that helps kill the bacteria. The second thing that lactic acid does is make kimchi sour. The acid in lactic acid acts on our taste buds just like the acid in lemon juice does. It makes our lips pucker and our mouths water, just like when we eat other sour foods. Thank you so much for watching this first episode of the Flavorful Summer of Steam 2020. This summer, I'm really excited to announce that I'm partnering with Flavorful Science. They're bringing in all of the food-related activities that you're going to see during this series. This new video series is also brought to you in part by the Rising Youth Community Service Grants Program. I also want to give a big thank you to Moses Jiang and his mom for filming the making of kimchi and also providing their family recipe in the description below. Another shout out to Carmen Lee for helping research the science behind this video. Stay tuned for the rest of the flavorful summer of steam and thank you so much for watching and of course please like, subscribe, and share.